I received a few comments about how to draw USDT from your Ledger device using the Tron network. I initially thought that you just need to pay gas fees in the form of TRX to allow the transaction to be processed. There are actually some technicalities that are unique to the Tron network and I'll be discussing them in this video. You should already have some tokens on the Tron network that have been deposited into your Tron account. I have some TRX tokens as well as USDT that I intend to send over to another Tron address. I had someone commenting on my previous video that he did not have enough energy to send over USDT from his ledger device to Binance. This was mainly due to a governance proposal on the Tron network that was recently passed to increase the price of energy. This was mainly due to a lot of low value transactions that were being sent on the blockchain. So this proposal increased the price of energy to fight against these malicious transactions. With this increase in the price of energy, this could result in your transactions not being able to go through. The first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you're on the latest version of Ledger Life. The fee limit on Ledger Life has increased to 30 TRX, which increases the chances of your transactions being processed. I currently have a more updated version of Ledger Life, and the fee limit has been increased to 50 TRX, which I'll be showing you later on. If you are on your Tron account on Ledger Life, you may notice that there are two different tabs, known as bandwidth and energy. Both of these parameters are being consumed when you are sending TRC20 tokens on the Tron network. Every active Tron account receives some bandwidth for free every day, but energy can only be acquired if you stake some TRX tokens using a wallet. If you do not have enough energy to process the transaction, you would then need to pay 50 to 100 TRX as a form of gas fees. It is recommended by this article to stake at least 3,000 TRX tokens to have sufficient energy for the transaction to be processed. At the time of recording, 3,000 TRX costs about 200 USD, and this is quite a huge sum that you need to lock up to have enough energy for your transactions. So right now, I only have 119 TRX tokens, and I'll be locking up some of them to see if I have enough energy to process a transaction. So you can stake your TRX on Ledger Life itself by going to the Earn Rewards button. You may also want to note that you can unstake your TRX tokens after 3 days of staking. You are given the option to either increase your bandwidth or energy, and since bandwidth is being given out every day, it will be more effective for you to earn energy instead. So I'm just going to stack 39 TRX for the fun of it to see how much energy I'll be able to receive. I will need to select the Tron account on my ledger device. I will need to confirm this transaction on my ledger device, and I will start earning energy once the network has confirmed these fees. Let me know in the comments below how many TRX tokens you intend to stake in your ledger device. By freezing 39 TRX tokens, this has allowed me to earn 668 energy. And right now, I'm going to find out if this will be able to cover my USDT transaction. I'll be sending over USDT from Ledger to Binance. I'll be going to the deposit page, select USDT, and then choose the Tron network. This should give you an address that starts with the prefix T. If you select any of the other networks, you may get a wallet address that has a different format. So the best way is to select the TRC20 network and copy this address that starts with the prefix T. On Ledger Live, I can click on Send and then select USDT in my Tron account as the token that I wish to send over. Under the recipient address, I can paste what I copied over from Binance. Ledger will prompt me to enter the amount of USDT that I wish to send over to Binance. In this case, I'll try out sending over 20 USDT. The energy that I receive from staking 39 TRX tokens is unable to process this transaction for free. As a result, Ledger mentions that I may need to pay up to 50 TRX tokens to process this transaction. If you do not want to stake 3000 TRX tokens, you may need to have at least 50 TRX in your Ledger account to process one transaction. If you intend to use the Tron network in the long run and foresee yourself making more than 60 transactions on the blockchain, it may be better for you to just pay these 3000 TRX tokens upfront so that you don't need to pay any transaction fee at all. I will need to select the Tron application on my Ledger device and confirm this transaction on the physical device. The transaction has now been sent and now I'm waiting for it to be confirmed on the Tron blockchain. I can click on view in Explorer and this will show me the transaction details on Tron scan. The status of this transaction has been confirmed and I burn about 27 TRX tokens as gas fees. This costs almost $2 to make this transaction so the amount of fees that you pay is actually quite high. Tronscan also shows the amount of bandwidth and energy that is being consumed by this transaction. One of these simple transactions requires about 65,000 energy and the amount of energy that I obtained from staking TRX was deducted from this total amount and the remaining energy required was paid in the form of the TRX tokens. This transaction also deducted some of my bandwidth and most of my energy but both of these will increase slowly over time. If I go to my transaction history on Binance, I can see that the transaction is successful and the 20 USDT has been credited to my Binance account. It is possible for you to manage multiple Tron wallets with a single ledger device. However, you may want to note that the bandwidth and energy is specific to each wallet and you will need to stake TRX tokens separately on both wallets to gain enough energy to process these transactions. You can check out my video here where I show you how it's possible to manage multiple accounts on the same network using your ledger device. 